I don't know of a more beautiful place. Just the way that it looks and feels from dawn till dark, it's just incredible. Legendary Lodge is such a special place. It brings kids in from all over the country. There's something of a leaving the world and going to a quiet place with our Lord. It creates a very special environment for them to receive the faith and, and make new friends, uh, friends they, they might not have expected. Anyone who comes here, they never leave here not having made a friend for life. There's a long tradition here of this idea of encountering the Lord in their community, in silence, in their own hearts, in the sacraments, in a ton of fun, and in God's beautiful creation. a lot of time in the outdoors, we spend a lot of time hiking, we spend a lot of time canoeing and snorkeling and archery and, and then we try and kind of relate it back to the spiritual life but we kind of have them make that conversation. You really learn to take ownership of your faith at Legendary Lodge and you learn to make it your own personal relationship with Christ and there's so many people here that can help teach and guide you. They line up for reconciliation the second they announce it and there's 60 kids in line. For my boys that is one of the highlights of getting to camp is the opportunity to seek the Lord in reconciliation. There's daily mass, which the kids fully participate in. Their Savior himself embraces them in that sacrament. It's an amazing thing, and my kids talk about it every time they come home. And as a parent, any opportunity for a great conversation with your teenage son is one to be cherished. It's all so inviting to kids of all ages. Everyone probably comes to Legendary Lodge because there's nothing like it. The other camps, they may be fun, but this is fun and it's holy, and you just can't get that anywhere else. The Holy Spirit's definitely here, and you can definitely feel it, and I think that that is why campers continue to come back year after year. The biggest thing that they're encouraged to do, though, is to go back across the lake and be involved in their parish and encourage other people's faith from what they've learned here.